Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Down for Living with MS in Tenerife. I'm here in Little Germany today with Colin McCabe. He came to our Monday meetup on Monday and he didn't have time because he was right at the death and we had to get home. So I said, why don't we meet up another day? And he said, all right, I've got time Thursday and I had to go to the dentist. So I've told Christina I'm in total pain. And, um, and so I'm going to, uh, go to the dentist, going to take hours. I said, they're going to do this, that and the other. All they did was look and take two stitches out and say, come back in three months. But now, Colin McCabe, how the devil are you, sir? I'm great, thank you. So did you enjoy yourself on Monday night? Uh, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. You were the only one sober, I think. <laughs> I think so, yeah. yeah. So uh, you've been in Tenerife now since Monday, right? You arrived and came straight down. That's right, yeah. Wow. That, I mean, I really do appreciate that. No, I fun. really do appreciate that. Fun. And um, so you, you're not staying in, in the local area now. You're down in Los Cristianos or Las, Las Americas? Las Americas. Las Americas, okay. Las Americas, yeah. Is that where you normally go? Yeah, because um, where well, you can party. So, right. <laughs> so what's your idea of party? Uh, on this trip, um, not so much because of things I've been doing, mm -hmm. you know, instead of partying. Uh, but normally, if I'm with somebody else, uh, a bar crawl. Right. Simple so, like, that. normal day for me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bar crawl. Until as late as possible. Yeah? yeah you like, like you like staying out late? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, like, like to get home early, you know. <laughs> I like to get home early. Finish early, start late. Uh, when and why was the first time you came to Tenerife? Uh, first time I came to Tenerife uh, was in 2012. Um, why? It was a family holiday with my then partner and our two daughters. And uh, what made you pick Tenerife? Um, well, it was in December. What made us pick Tenerife? It was in December. Um, it was my birthday, and we wanted somewhere fairly inexpensive but warm. So uh, we looked on the map, and Tenerife sort of filled all the all the blanks that we were after. So there you go. Cool. Um, have you always stayed in the Las Americas area? Yes. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Different hotels. I like to try different hotels, but always Las Americas. And have you been doing anything different this time to the last time? Yes, uh, last time was with some friends from work. So last time we came, it was a, like a lads holiday. Mm -hmm. So it was party central. Um, this time I've uh, done plenty of different things up to now. I've um, uh, done some surfing, which I didn't do last time. Uh, yesterday I visited La Palma to see the volcano. And over the weekend, uh, more surfing and I've got a helicopter excursion planned as well. Cool. Yeah. It's only my third day today, so I thought today I'll take it easy. Taking it easy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about La Palma. Uh, La Palma's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, I arrived uh, yesterday off the ferry at about 10, 10.30. And uh, straight away it hit you. Santa Cruz is lovely. Um, to get to the volcano, uh, you drive literally up the mountain, then you go under the tunnel, you come out the other end, totally different weather system, uh, and you're surrounded by fruit plantations. Uh, it, 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 it's great, lovely. Is it greener than here? It's probably about as green as the north of the island. Um, it, it's mainly bananas, uh, but yeah, it's really nice. So what did you get up to? Well, uh, the first, the first thing was to get my hire car, so I had a bike, a bicycle with me. Uh, I stuck the bike on the back of the car, um, found my way around. Uh, I went to, um, I forget what the name of the restaurant is now, but there's a restaurant on a big viewpoint, uh, which is on the west coast of the, of the island. Um, took some pictures of the volcano from that angle. Uh, then I drove down, had lunch in Tazacorte, which is nice, beautiful. Uh, then I drove up to Los Llanos, uh, probably not saying that right, but Lost Lambs. Uh, and I went to the animal sanctuary to walk the dog. And where did you hear about the animal sanctuary? Um, off another, am I allowed to say who? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, off uh, a YouTube channel um, with a guy called Bushcraft Bear. Oh, if we mention him now, we'll get all these followers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Bushcraft Bear was doing um, daily updates on the volcano, uh, what's been going on since the start. And one of his, um, one of his vlogs about a month ago, he featured the animal sanctuary, and he just mentioned that they were after volunteers. So I thought, well, what a nice thing to do. So I'll try and find it. It's very easy to find. So I went along and uh, helped them out a little bit. Cool. Yeah. 
Do you want to tell the story? No. Really? <laughs> Only if you want to. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, I went in. Um, uh, I didn't have much time because I had to get a ferry back at, I think it was five, six o'clock, so I was a bit pushed for time. Didn't have as much time as I, I would have liked, to be fair. Um, I spoke to one of the volunteers there. Um, it's run by vets, mm -hmm. um, veterinary surgeons. Um, she explained that there used to be ten of them, but now there's only three or four. You know, one of them's on a part-time basis, and they're working 24/7, um, which made me feel even worse because I didn't have much time to help them. Um, so I gave her a, a cash donation, whatever, and she said, "Do you want a quick look around while you're here?" You know, so I had half an hour, three quarters of an hour. Um, so she gave me a little tour um, to describe the place. It's like a big, like a big warehouse, but without sides. You've got okay. like pillars and a, like a arched roof. And what they've done is, for the cats, they've literally um, attached together about 15 gazebos and they've covered up the sides and they've got the cats in cat pens in lines and each cat has got its original family's name and details on its pen so they know whose cat is who. <coughs> when those families are rehomed after the volcano, they can give the cats back. Anyway, so I went round, guided tour, uh, then we went into the dogs. Uh, there's about 30 dogs. There's 70 cats, 30 dogs all there about. Uh, and again, the dogs are similar. They're in huge pens, really well looked after. Um, some of the pens are covered with curtains and things to keep them calm and keep them cool. Uh, there was one pen that wasn't covered, and it was a, a white dog, like um, I'd say like a Staffordshire Bull Terrier type dog. Yeah. Oh, like they like Bill Sykes's dog, Bullseye. Before my time, yes, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say before my time, but I knew that is that, yeah, mm. yeah, a bit like that. <coughs> and um, as we walked around the corner, he was straight ahead of me and he started going nuts, literally chasing his tail in a circle, barking and yapping. And she had the nuts up with him, she said, You mustn't like his owner. I said, All right, okay, so we went over, she said, we'll, we'll go and have a look. And the cages, the pens, just below the top, there's like about a two inch gap. And she put her hand through and he was licking her hand. And she said, oh, he's really friendly. And his name was Darvel. And uh, I put my hand through and he was licking me hand. She said, come on, I'll let him out. And she lifted the, the flap thing up. And he come bounding out straight to my legs. And she said, you, you can't look like his owner because he's close to you now. He doesn't go by, dogs don't go by sight. They go by smell yeah. primarily. She goes, he obviously took to you. She goes, well, take him out. And there's a little sort of play area around the back. So... There was no lead required, he literally stuck to my feet. Um, took him back, he had some dried food and that. Uh, and as I walked away, he started literally whimpering and crying. Mm -hmm. So uh, I said my goodbyes, um, you know, told him I'd go back if I'm over in Ireland again, as you do. Uh, went home, back to the hotel last night. It was still playing on my mind a little bit. So today, back home, uh, we've been starting plans to go and get Darvel and take him back to the UK. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's going to be hard, I think, but uh, if, if it works out well, that'll yeah. be a great thing. Yeah, nothing concrete yet. You know, I can't say it's definitely going to happen because mm. I don't know what to do to go about doing it. It's, you know, it's a logistical nightmare from what people are saying. But I've been given a couple of contacts. You, know, you said you've got one as well. Um, I think the funds are in place to do it hopefully, mm -hmm. which they should be. Yeah, the, the funds will be in place one way or another. So uh, let, let's get it on. Cool, dude. Hashtag get Darvel home. Get Darvel <laughs> home, there you go. That, that's a hashtag to, to conjure with. Yeah. To conjure with. Have you got anything else that you want to say hello to somebody? Or? Um, hello to everybody. Um, I think what you and the other guys are doing, I've wanted to say this and I'll say it to Rick and whoever else happens to meet, uh, what you guys are doing to the like, for the likes of me, is absolutely fantastic, and I probably speak on most of your, you know, supporters, followers. Um, it's fantastic, and keep it going because it brings us back, and it wants us to come back again and again mm -hmm. and again. Mm -hmm. I'm so I'm so glad that we put stuff out there that you, you know that helps you guys yeah. when you're not here, and also when you're here. I think because yeah. yeah. is there anything that you you are you gonna, you're planning to do anything with Dan on or with any excursions? Uh, Dan's away. Um, so not planning to do anything with Dan. Um, he's, I, think, I believe he's back in Ireland, Kim said. Um, I've booked a helicopter trip on Sunday, which would be nice. That's my little mm -hmm. 21st birthday treat. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's Sunday morning. Uh, between now and then, Kim's trying to talk me into paragliding. I'm not so sure on that one. Oh, have you got a GoPro? 
No. <laughs> Do you want one? <laughs> You've got one somewhere. I have, yeah. <laughs> um, I might do it, might not. Um, got surfing tomorrow. Uh, that's at nine o'clock tomorrow morning in Las Americas mm -hmm. uh, with guys there. Uh, helicopter Sunday, and then COVID test. Mm -hmm. And if I'm positive, I'll have to stay. What a shame. Just go kissing everybody. <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. <laughs> so I'll just come around like this. <coughs> so ladles and jelly spoons. This is Tim Down for Living With MS in Tenerife. Google thinks you might like this one next. And if you want to support the channel, you can support the channel here. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for free right here. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, Colin. Pleasure. And uh, bye.